Hey guys, welcome back to This Gathered Nest. I am Angela. Thank you so much for being here today. I make all kinds of videos on this channel about motherhood. I've got seven kids. We talk about beauty things and lifestyle things and I do some family vlogs. So there's all kinds of content here. So be sure to stick around if you like that kind of thing. There's a little subscribe button down there you can hit. Um, there's also a bell you can hit that will notify you whenever I upload a new video. But today we're talking all about hair. I chopped my hair off. Every few years I go through these things where I feel like it's time to cut all my hair off. And I finally did it and I actually have no regrets. I'm really loving having this short hair, which is unusual for me because I usually have regrets in about a week, which is why it takes me years before I forget and then do it again. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really liking this hairstyle. And when I cut my hair, I got a lot of questions from you guys about how I style it. So I am no hair expert, but I thought I would just show you guys kind of what I do to get this kind of messy, PC, unkempt look for my short hair. I'm going to show you guys the products that I use and how I achieve it. So if you like that kind of video, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and let's just hop right into the tutorial. It's not really a tutorial, but I'm just going to show you what I do. So let's go. Okay, so today my hair, I washed it yesterday, um, and I will show you guys what I put in my hair after I get out of the shower, um, and then kind of just explain like what I do from there, because all I'm really looking to do with products after I get out of the shower is just get lots of volume and lift up here in the root. So when my hair is wet and after I get out of the shower, I spray in some of this Maximista by Orbe thickening spray. And the other thing I spray in it when it's wet is a little bit of the Aveda volumizing tonic. Um, again, these products kind of do the same thing. I just really like to double up on them because I like a ton of volume in my root and I feel like they both help. And I just spray them like right in here in the root area. Um, I just kind of lift up when the hair is wet and spray it all in here and go all over my head, but just at the roots. So then, so I have obviously slept on my hair and it's like I said, second day hair. So I am gonna put some dry shampoo in it. Um, I'm kind of learning with short hair, number one, I can go a lot longer between washes than I was before. Um, and I'm doing things a little differently. Normally on night one, when my hair was longer, I would go ahead and put dry shampoo in. I usually put in dry shampoo at night. Um, however, with the shorter hair, I've been waiting until day two to put in dry shampoo or sometimes day three. I don't like have to have it today. I'm just going to use it because I got two new ones. I'm getting ready to go on a trip and I want to kind of try these out and see which one I want to take with me. Um, this is hairspray. That is not, I will find the other one. One is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Um, and the other one I got is by Tresemme. It's a volumizing, um, dry shampoo. So I think I've used this one before and I remember liking it, but I'm going to try this one, the Tresemme one. So all I'm going to do here is just part my hair and spray a little bit in there. Um, I really, oh, kind of have a, I smell like bug spray. Maybe it won't smell like that once it dries down a little bit. Living Proof makes one of my all time favorite dry shampoos, but it's also very, very expensive. So we're gonna try some of these cheaper options for a little bit. All right, now the only um, tools that we're gonna be using, there are lots of different tools that I use to style my hair depending on what look I'm going for. Um, but we have a flat iron and I think this is a one and a half or one and a quarter. I don't remember. This is the palladium um, curling iron. I cannot remember, as you can see. None of my stuff is in great shape. It is used and abused. So those are the two things I'm gonna use. Now I'm barely gonna use this today because this is what I use when my hair is, um, after I blow dried it, after I get out of the shower and after I blow dried my hair, I just go through and straighten my ends with this. That's basically all I'm doing with this is I have really like, I don't have like naturally stick straight hair. So my ends are kind of frazzled looking. Um, they just get like, I don't, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the humidity makes them just kind of like, I don't know, they're just not straight. And I wanna make sure my ends are straight for this look um, because we're not gonna be curling the ends, we're gonna leave them out. And so if they're kind of frizzy looking, then it looks weird. So I just wanna make sure that my ends are straight. So that's pretty much all I do with that. Sometimes I'll use it to touch up the bang area. I'll show you that, but I think we've got pretty good, um, volume and everything today. So I don't think I'm going to need to use that. So I kind of part my hair how I think I'm going to 
want it parted. Um, I am somebody who parts my hair in different directions all the time. I don't keep it like consistent or anything. So sometimes I'll part it this way, sometimes I'll part it that way. But for today's sake, I think we're gonna do about like that. Um, yeah, that feels good. I feel good about that. I do not always go through and like separate my hair into layers and stuff like that with it being short like this. I don't always have to. So I just kind of, I just kind of go back and start in the back area and start grabbing little sections like this, place the curl iron at the top, twist it, roll it up, twist it, roll it up, leaving just a little bit of hair at the bottom out. And then I pull it out. So you see how it kind of creates this curl that's like away from your head a little bit. Um, that's what I want. I want the volume. And then I just kind of want these like PC chunky. I pull that one a little bit more like that. So hopefully you guys can see that I'm leaving just a little bit out at the end and then pulling it out. So I'm gonna kind of toss it that way. That kind of allows me to work in layers without separating, without actually like separating my hair. One of the things I really like about this short style is that usually on day one, when I style it, look at that volume. Yes. Usually on day one, when I style it, when I wake up on day two, I almost don't have to do anything to it. I just kind of run my fingers through it and go. Um, however, yesterday was a really bad like thunderstorm and it was extremely humid and we were outside having family pictures taken. So by the time I got back to the car, the wind had literally blown all of the curls out of my hair. Like my hair was almost completely straight when I got back to the car. So that's why I'm having to do it again on day two. Normally I wouldn't have to do this. Um, I could touch up little pieces and stuff like that. But yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go through and curl all this. Oops. And then I'm going to leave those be. Might do another one from up here. I have to tell you guys that normally when I cut my hair short, cause I, like I said on Instagram, I do this every few years, I get like bored and I cut my hair short. Normally when I do it, I have like almost instantaneous regret. Usually within a day or two, I'm like, oh, what was I thinking? I want my long hair back. Um, 
but I can tell you guys with like full confidence that for whatever reason, maybe it's just that my hair color is different this time than it was last time I cut it short. I don't really know. But for whatever reason, I really am loving this hairstyle. It feels like so fun and like me. I'm just really liking it. And I think that I will probably keep my hair short like this for a while. Obviously it's gonna take a while to grow anyways, but you know what I mean. You know how sometimes you cut your hair and then like you immediately begin the like grow back process. Like, okay, that was fun for a week. Now it's time to grow it out. I don't feel that way. Like I'm already thinking like, oh, when I make my next hair appointment, I gotta make sure that I get it trimmed so it stays the length that I really like. And as you can see, I'm not like somebody who grabs a comb and makes like perfect um, curls every time or anything like that. Like I just kind of grab chunks and go with it because I want it to be kind of messy and piecey looking when we're done. So. And I don't like too tight of a curl right here by my face. I also don't like too small of a curl right there by my face. So I have quite a big chunk of hair at the root. Obviously you can see it's a lot thinner as it goes down, but that's what I curl. Um, and this one, I want to kind of curl like that. Like I don't really leave it in for a super long time. And I usually mess with this one quite a bit until I get it exactly how I want it. Okay, phase two of this process is to do something that does not come naturally to me, which is to leave it the heck alone. Don't touch my hair, don't mess with it. Let all these curls, I just did. I see, I can't even like, I can't even tell you. Oh, I just let all of these curls cool off. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be back when the curls are cool. Everything has cooled and here's the fun part. Here's where we make the magic happen. I just kind of reach under and start to shake them out and I just kind of make like claws with my hands um, and just kind of shake them out a little bit so they're not so perfect. Um, I also usually take my comb like this that has the pointed end so I can use that to pull up sections of hair and back comb it. Um, I try not to go too crazy with that and if you're good, if you use good products, um, the good volumizing products and stuff, then hopefully you shouldn't have to go too nuts with the, the back combing stuff. And sometimes when you pick up sections and back comb, it all falls down into like a helmet shape. So you gotta kind of work against that a little bit. But I'll show you in a second what I do for that. Sometimes I will also kind of back comb lower down as well just to create some volume in these this area too um i do get a little carried away with this just fine um because my hair your hair might be different but my hair falls down throughout the day and pretty quickly after i do this it falls down a little bit so when i first do it we're it's definitely like fran drescher nanny style but it does eventually calm so depending on where I'm at in my hair washing cycle and everything, I really and really like this Pure Abundance Hair Potion. It's like a powder, um, and I just put it right here, and it goes on as a powder, and then as you rub your fingers through it, it kind of creates this like gritty texture. I put some of it on yesterday when my hair was clean, so I'm actually not going to put any more of this on today because as you can see, it's got plenty of like texture and stuff right there, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I am going to take some of this Amika Undone Texture Spray and I'm just going to kind of lift and spray it. I just want to make sure I've got lots
looked at the back myself, so it might look crazy. I'll have to get a mirror and I might need to touch up the back a little bit, but you get kind of the basic idea of what we're going for here. All right, so that is the finished look for how I style my kind of short lob, I guess, basically is what this is now. I don't know. Um, I have it cut blunt with just an ever so slight A-line. This is probably even a little more than, next time I might have her take this back a little bit, um, cause I don't necessarily want it even that, that much. Um, but yeah, that's just what I asked for. I don't have any layers added in or anything. I just do blunt cut, little teensy bit longer right here in the front. And I do that cause I like to be able to tuck this and still have like, some hair here. Anyways, I do feel like even though this is short hair, it's very versatile. There's a lot of different ways to wear this cut and I'm really loving it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of like how I achieved this look with my hair. As always, let me know if you guys try this look, if you recreate it, tag me on Instagram. I'm just this gathered nest. Um, I would love to see what you guys come up with if you do something similar to your hair. I'm really enjoying short hair and I am loving seeing how people style theirs and getting ideas and stuff like that. So tag me on Instagram if you do and that's it for today's video guys. Like I said, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see y'all again very soon. Bye. About to leave.